So, dependence on passive passive components is not expected because we want A to D converter to behave the same way as on the very first day of its manufacturing. So, it should work as it is all the time this is what we expect. That is why there is a second type of ADC dual slope ADC. dual slope ADC. Correct. So, this dual slope ADC has an advantage. What is the advantage? The advantage is that its output is independent of passive components. passive components. This is the advantage. Now, how does it happen? How does it happen? Let us understand that. So, for that we need to draw block diagram first. So, let me draw the block diagram we have uh, a integrator circuit. Let me draw an integrator. Integrator has R and C. Correct. This is the integrator. The integrator is connected with a switch. the switch has two inputs and one output. So, the input is connected to say V input and then it is connected to minus some V reference minus some V reference and we start the circuit with switch connected to V input and we have R and C. So, the waveforms will be like this. We have time axis T and the voltage axis. Now, here we plot the output voltage of the integrator. <coughs> we assume that the capacitor voltage is 0 initially. So, the output of the integrator is 0 and uh, when we connect V input, since V input we assume it to be positive we in assume input to be positive. So, the current will go inside this since it would not enter in into the op amp it has to go to this way. So, if the current goes inside the capacitor the capacitor voltage will get, get developed this way and uh, left hand side of the capacitor is a virtual ground. it means it is having 0 voltage. So, if the left hand side of a capacitor is tied to 0 and the capacitor charges the right hand side of the capacitor must go down and down and down as the capacitor charges because the left hand side is tied to 0 and the capacitor allow is allowed to charge. So, the waveform will be like this the waveform will be like this it will go down and down negative correct. Now, we will allow this to happen for a certain period which I call it as a capital T. This is capital T. We allow it to change for certain we allow it to charge for a certain period it is called capital T and after that we change the switch position we change the switch position. So, we change the switch position here after T after capital T. Now, when we change the switch position what will be the analog input? It will be minus V reference. So, when we say minus V reference uh, the currents will be coming out like this currents will be coming out this way because the right hand side of the resistor or left hand side of the capacitor they, they are at 0 and left hand left hand side of the resistor is at minus. So, the current has to come this way 
the current would not come from the capacitor sorry the op amp the current has to come this way. So, there is no option the current has to come this way and if the current is going reverse way as in the case of as in the, uh, as compared to the previous case the capacitor will have to discharge it means it will lose the voltage across it and left hand side of the capacitor left hand side of the capacitor is connected to ground so the right hand side voltage will slowly up going up and up so the output voltage will be changing like this the slope will depend on v reference it will be v reference decided by v reference now what we do and it will eventually reach zero sometime it will reach zero sometime now we'll take an example in which v input is increased suppose v input is now increased v input is slightly increased now what change will happen in this waveform is that the charging current will increase charging current will increase because v input is slightly increased so if the charging current increases the rate at which the capacitor charges will increase and that can be shown easily by this change in the waveform this is the change in the waveform correct so it won't charge beyond t because t is the limit beyond t it won't go so we it will stop here now after that the switch position will change and uh, v reference minus v reference will be connected remember this is minus v reference it means it's a constant it's constant it is it is not changed so if if it is constant and if it is minus the capacitor will discharge at the same rate as in the earlier case because it is not changed so if i draw the line here i must draw a parallel line i must draw a parallel line so let me draw it this way correct this is the parallel line now you please consider this as a parallel line correct this is a parallel line so we have additional time t2 